Okay. So let's go over the setup. Your patient's gonna be positioned three feet from the flag. They're gonna be in a nice, comfortable, upright posture. The three feet is through the midline of the frontal plane of the head. And they are going to be looking at the bullseye of the target. For the saccade, in the way it's described in the literature for the VOMS, the patient needs to look one and a half feet to the left and one and a half feet to the right one and a half feet above the target to the vertical axis and one and a half feet below. So that on this target ends up being just inside the nine and just inside the three or just under the 12 or just over the six. To standardize this test, we are gonna have the patient look directly at the bullseye in an upright posture. Then I can hold onto the perpendicular mount turn on the laser and use the ball and socket joint to put the laser in toward the red field of the bullseye. This helps me understand if a patient is starting to change posture during the test, okay? Or if the laser is going to be moving, that will tell me what is happening as they are going through the application of saccade or the performance, okay? So to perform this test, we're gonna have the patient look as quickly as they can between the nine and the three on the horizontal axis without moving their head. So I can, after I've centered up the laser, I'm gonna ask my patient, so quickly as you feel comfortable, look to the nine and to the three, back and forth without moving your head. I'm not going to mention at this time anything about what the laser is doing. I might cue them to not stop in the middle, but just go back and forth between the two numbers. So go ahead and try that for me. And I, this allows me to watch his eyes and then also see if the laser is starting to move. Go ahead and stop. I can then record if they have headache, dizziness, fogginess, or nausea, give them appropriate rest, and then move on from there. I highly recommend as a practitioner you videotape these sessions from behind in this similar view that we are giving this instructional video so you can go back and see if there was deviations from the uh, center target and then also allow you to watch their eyes in real time. Okay, we're looking for overshooting, we're looking for hesitation, we're looking for incongruent movement. We're also looking to see if there's movement of the laser. So in an appropriate saccade, a patient might have to cheat with a motor movement of their head toward their side of their saccade that they don't feel as comfortable with. So in this case, as an example, the laser is centered up, but every time the patient goes to the right to look at the three, the laser starts to move out to the different colors of the bullseye. Okay. And then maybe they bring that back toward the middle each time, or you start to notice that they start to drift, where the laser over time, as they're going back and forth between their saccade 10 times, the laser starts to move further and further away from the center of the bullseye. This can often be very dramatic, where you notice where a person starts to look to one side, and again, as this example is the three, the laser might move as far as two degrees off from the midline over into this dark blue field. And then they'd come back, they'd go to the other side, and they don't move, but every time they go to the right, they get a cheat with their head and they're not actually keeping it uh, stationary the whole test. So we would note this, this would be very important for your patient performing home exercise components of the VOMS to make sure that they're getting a true saccade instead of some sort of motor cheat or a drift, which might not bring on their symptoms. In this case, we might consider this to be a false negative where they're actually having some type of symptoms if they were doing the test appropriately, but the test is actually being uh, changed by the patient unconsciously. We would do the same test for vertical saccade. So I'm gonna have you look just below the 12 and just over the six while not moving your head. Go ahead and look up and down 10 times as fast as you can, not stopping in the middle. and stop. I'd record his headache, dizziness, nausea, and fogginess. 
I would go back if, uh, and look at the, the video of the performance and see if he was moving or drifting with a particular area. Again, this will help me dictate how specific my home exercise program needs to be and what education I can give the patient. That is how we utilize the motion guidance device for saccade during the VOMS.